Hello viewers, this is Jonathan from Go77 here, and today I'll be showing you how to build the Ultra Sword, the real one. So, first let's start off with the body, or the frame. And, let me move these pieces aside. You're gonna need quite a few pieces. You're gonna need this one by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One by fifteen, two of them. Doesn't really matter if it has holes or not. We're gonna put these, and then we're gonna get these three of one of these. We're gonna get three studs, and let me move this down. And we're gonna need three tiles that are one by one, preferably in circles. You're gonna get one of these that has two studs. Like one on each side. I'm gonna get one of these that has a on side on all sides. I'm gonna get this head like brick piece. We're gonna get two one by one bricks, and we're gonna start building. We start off by having this gray this piece, and we grab this black one, and we make it so that the stud are facing down and this one the studs are facing up then the studs are gonna face up on the other one so it, lo it would look like this see and then you will grab a stud and a tile put it right here and put this aside and you grab this a stud and a tile and put this aside, this, a stud and a tile, put this aside, and you come back to this, you break this, and then you put this one by one brick piece and in here. Like so. So now it's really long. Now to put it all together, you grab this, you put it right here. It should fit. If it doesn't, you probably did something wrong. Or I'm just super epic and I broke the laws of Legos. So you do this once, then you put the one on all sides on the top, and then put fill in the gaps by putting the one that has two right under it. And under that, we get the headlight brick, make it pointing to the direction the stu the black studs are facing. So like this. This may take you a while, but you'll get it. You'll get there. And then after that, you put the other side on. They should all hold together. And this is the body. Now let's go ahead and build the top part, the sword. Like the the t the, the top. Just do what it do. You got this two. Um, six by fourteen. Six by fourteen. Two of those. Put them here, and you grab a whole bunch of gray pieces and one, one by two, blue tile. You put this right here at the bottom, and the rest you will just go like so. Put one by two, one by two. One by two, gray, light gray, one by two. And on top, we'll get this four by six, and this one by four. And put this aside. And here, we grab this four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we put it right here, above, like we skip one. Well, I kind of forgot about that. This two by six. Uh, two by four, uh, two by two, and two, and a one by four, and there we have it. That part, we can go ahead and place this right on top of this. Okay, so this stud on top should line up to that stud right here in the middle, like this hole, right there. So it should be like this. 
may take a while because it took me a while. And yeah, so it should be like a bit off right here. You can still see the one by one brick. Then you put the other side on. And this is the sword part. And we're gonna put this aside. And then we're gonna grab a whole bunch of other pieces and you'll find out later what they are. <sighs> we're gonna get two. One by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two by one, I mean one by fourteen. Two, one of these, two of these. Um, one by three gray slope pieces. Um, two, one by two tiles. Well, like, well, actually three. Um, Four of these one by six tiles, like the actual tiles. Um, a one by three, no, yeah, one by three gray piece, a stud, and four one by six of these, and yeah. So let's get started to build on the build. We grab this, these, and we place one on each side like this. So there's one one by two in the middle. And we grab one of our tiles, put it right here. Then we fill up the space with these, two of these, so that there's a one by two space right there. We do this twice. Twice, slice, mice, dice. I use this black one because I had no other gray one. And then we grab our one by three, place right here, put this on the slope, so it's like this. And on this side, we go like this. We put the one by two right here and the stud right here, and we put it together. So it should look exactly like this. Go ahead, grab our frame, and make it so that it's right there. And so that there's two extra right here. And you have better frame thing. And now for the top. Okay, we're gonna need a one by four. As you can see, a I don't have one, so I put a couple on top of each other. So it's so, and then we grab a one by three brick, and then we grab two one by eights, put them together, and on the bottom we put these lined right here can see then there's three extra we put the one by three right here we should make this then we grab our um one by one black no a two by one black one of these and we put that there and we grab a one by two by four no two by two put it there and then we grab ourselves a gray, I mean, or well, it should be dark gray, tile piece, or it could be light gray, light gray. And we grab another one, put it right here. And then we grab a two by two brick, that's light gray, put it right here. And we fill up the space in between with um, two by twos that are regular dark gray. And then we grab a one by two brick and a two two by three brick and put it on top. And a two by two and brick and put it on top. So it looks like stairs. And in between we grab these 
weird pieces. Does it have to be this? They could be like one by one, tiny triangle slope pieces. And we put them right here and here and here, here, here. So we got six of them. Be careful not to break your thing that you just made. And here. This will be the top, and then on top you can put this 2x2 two two black towel right here. As I was saying, you don't ha it doesn't have to be this. It could be any other slope piece you have with you. And so you do that. You grab your sword, and you see that one by one piece sticking out? You put that on on the on here. The end of the one that closest to the middle on the one by four. So it should fit perfectly. If not, you might have to push this a little out. And then squeeze this in. Or the, take it out first, then put it in as best as you can, and then push it in. This may take a while. It has to be perfectly aligned. Takes a while, but it's worth it. There we go. And then we squeeze it all together. Put these pieces back where they go. And that's the sword part. And now for the handle. We're gonna grab this four by eight, I think. Yeah, four by eight. Put it right here so that these two are covered they hold on to it like so then we go on this side we know I did it on the wrong side this piece this um, one by two shouldn't go here this one goes on the opposite sides of where the studs are so right here that way we can put this right here we get this pac-man half pac-man piece that's blue call it pac-man piece because if you grab two of them put them together makes a pac-man nom 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 so you just put this right here we got the one by six put it right under and we grab a two by four right here we grab a 4x4 four four circle, yellow circle, with the hole in the middle, and we put it right here. Two, there's two studs open right here. And this is where we make our star. We're going to put this aside. We grab all the pieces we need for our star. The star part is not complicated. Pretty easy, as long as you have all the pieces. We are going to need five of these two pieces. Preferably yellow, not beige. Three studs. Um, preferably yellow. A two by four of these. Preferably yellow and preferably round. A two by four tile. And a yellow triangle piece. Preferably not transparent. So let's get to building. We grab this piece, we put them like this, so it looks like that. Then we grab two for like the legs, so it looks like a purse body. Like la 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 la. Then we put this tile on top. We grab one of our studs, put it right in the middle. Then we put this middle in the middle of the circle, right here. And then we put this right here, like this, at this angle. And for our head, like the top part, we grab one stud and the, another stud, put them together. Put this yellow tooth together on top. And on top of that, we put the yellow slope piece. Makes this. And we put that right here. On the second stud, right here. That one. 
right here. That way it looks like it's put together, but really it's not. And we have our star. And that's all that matters. Now we flip it. So it looks pretty ugly here. So what we do is we grab two more Pac-Man pieces. And we're going to put them right here. But not right now, because we're going to add some stuff on it first. First, let us grab some pieces. I will explain to you what they are. In just a moment. And so here are the pieces. Preferably um, four two by twos. If not, you could use one by twos. Um, if you're using those, you're going to need six or eight if but I had one of two by two so I only need six so you're gonna grab each one of these put one right here and on the other side we're gonna put one right here and uh, one right here and you as you can see this makes it uh, the size of a brick and we'll put another one right here one right here, one right here, and one right here, and we put these like right here, at the very bottom, you know, at the very top, or at the very bottom, I don't know, um, wait for it, let me think, well, we're going to keep these aside, and we're going to grab ourselves four 1x2 bricks, and a 1x4, put the 1x4 here, and we're going to get any color of these with a triangle, uh, a little cross in the thing, put this right here, put this piece each one of these like this and this yeah so yeah like that and then we grab these pieces and we put them right here right at the bottom of that you might have to take it out first and then put them and then put it back in wait I, I, I like, sorry. sorry, and I messed this one side too. It's because I just want, I don't want the gray piece to be showing. That's why. Then we put this, we can put this back in here. Ah, my warp star. It should fit nice and easy. And put this here. It takes a while to put it in, but it's well worth it. And I'm still trying to put it in. And there we go. Then this piece falls out. And we put this back in. And then on this side, we grab a um two by six. Well, no, two by eight. We put it right here. And then we grab this two by four. Well, actually. Or one by four, put it right here. A two by four, and another two by four. This two by four right here. A two by two, right here, and another two by two. 
my 2x2 two two right here. And... Wait. Um... Um... Then we grab our... Okay then, um... I think I messed it up. Wait, no, 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 it's okay. Then we grab our 2x... Uh, a 4x4 four four yellow circle. Put it here. We grab this. Piece. Technic piece. Peg. We put it right here. And on the stud piece, we put this piece right here. And at the bottom, we will put our gray stick and put as much as we can. And on that, we put this. And there we have our ultra sword. It took us 21 minutes, but it's well worth it. Now to build the Kirby hat. It's no longer this hat. It will be a hat that is way better. A hat that is like no other. An awesome hat that wish you you could have. It is this hat. Dun dun. See, it even comes with these pieces. Okay, let's build it. So, we're gonna need a whole bunch of pieces. But first, let me tell you each piece you're gonna need. We're gonna need six of these sharp tooth pieces that are gray. If you don't, you could have, if you had four or any color, I, I used two white because I don't have all six. Then, you're gonna need for yourself four arm pieces like these arm piece and two of these arm pieces we're gonna need four green headlight bricks I'm gonna put these right here we're gonna need a yellow stud we're gonna need a one one by two slope piece. We're gonna need a two by four, a two by two brick that has nothing in the middle or doesn't have to, and a one by three. And that's it. Let's get started on this build. We're gonna grab our two of the. We're gonna grab one of these first. We're gonna put it right here so that there's still extra stuff. Then we're gonna make the arm grab it and push it all the way in. We're gonna do that for the other side using the opposite thing, making it in the opposite direction. And then we're gonna grab this piece and put two more headlight bricks on this one by two brick. So it's like this. And we're gonna put this one by two piece like this. We're gonna combine it up both together um, first let's move this a bit apart from here. Wait. I'm gonna put these facing down, then like this. I'm gonna put, combine these two with a 1x3. And the yellow stud is gonna be at the bottom. So it's like this. Looks like a weird body person. With arms. Then we're gonna put, stretch this out a little bit. And as you can see, the hole fits perfectly. I'm gonna grab this arm piece, put it right here. Just push it all the way in so it goes inside the headlight brick piece. I'm gonna grab our pieces and put them in. And to make the those weird things on his head. As you can see, it's turning out to be amazing. If you don't want this big head, you can have the regular old lame small head, but it's this, and the, and you can just put it with this one by two brick with nothing in there. You can put it in there, or if you want, you could put it right here on the headlight bricks. That way, he can hold the sword easier. Let me grab the sword so it can hold it. Well, what you want to do is take the legs out first. It, I, I find it easier like that. Like, 
hold the arms like this so it's sideways. Uh. Oh my gosh, this takes a while. If you don't have a well balanced Kirby holding his sword like this. This sword can be held by any other person as long as they have arms like a regular birdie body said birdie like a regular birdie only regular birdies can have this and there you have it your ultra sword creepy see you later bye